News 8 is your local election headquarters, and today marks exactly three weeks before Election Day. Ahead of the big day, News 8 Emerson College and The Hill are unveiling the results of an exclusive poll. It takes focus on voters in Connecticut's 5th District. Now, that race is widely viewed as one of the most competitive congressional races in the country. Incumbent Democratic Congresswoman Johanna Hayes is facing off with rematch with Republican challenger George Logan. Our News 8 political contributor Mike Cerulli has details. Exclusive new polling shows a neck and neck race for the 5th District. Hayes leads Logan among likely voters by three points. 5% of those likely voters said they were undecided. The rivals had similar reactions to the poll. It is a snapshot in time and should not affect uh, how hard we work. We run 10 points behind all the time and we work right up until election day. Now we all know that this is going to be a, a close uh, race and it's actually coming to that. So we're going to be scratching and clawing all the way to the end of election day. Two years ago, Hayes beat Logan by less than one percentage point in a hard fought campaign. So what's on voters minds in this year's election? The top issues voters identified in our poll is the economy, followed by the cost of housing, threats to democracy and immigration. Overall, a slight majority said they think our state is headed in the wrong direction. That number was larger among independent voters. Certainly, you're not going to feel that your, uh, your state or your district or the country is going in the right direction if you're having a hard time paying your, for your grocery bills. I listen to what voters say. When people come to me and they're talking about their concerns, I listen to that and I tell them, you know, this is my vision going forward. This is, these are the types of policy proposals that I would support. Looming over this congressional race is the presidential race. Our new poll showing another dead heat among 5th District voters. Vice President Harris leads former President Trump by just one point in the district. Joe Biden won it by more than 10 points in 2020. We're seeing a narrowing in some of these otherwise very blue states. Uh, and this district being a swing district, you're going to see the most narrowing there. To learn more about our polling and to view our voter guide, you can go to WTNH.com or the free News 8 app. Reporting in Waterbury, I'm Mike Cerulli, News 8.